can I say I'm leaving? Please don't get off the bed. Please don't follow me. Please don't try and stop me. I'm leaving. And she got up off the bed and she squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom. And I said, what do you, what do you want to do? Hit me again? Would you like to hit me again? And I said, go ahead, hit me. Bam. And then I just said, did that, is that what you wanted? Would you like another? Bam. There's the second one. And I said, good, now you're done. Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down and said, don't follow me, leave me alone, I'm out, I'm gone. I went, I grabbed a few things and I got out immediately and I went to um, my other house on Sweetser. As absurd and grotesque and cruel um, and then I was shown a picture of what the problem was. I had gone to Mr. Beck and said, uh, she's, in Coachella. she's at Coachella. I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get some of my things, you know, and uh, get them out of there, especially the things that were uh, uh, precious to me, you know, children things, things from friends, Brando, Hunter, Thompson, and whatever, things that were important to me. And he said, I don't think now is a good time to go. And I thought, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that was, I mean, I laughed. I, I, the, it was so outside. It was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. That's, that's the promise you gave me a little while ago. I'm, I'm telling you if, you, if you lost memory last night of kicking me out the door with the fucker hitting me, Again, and, you, and your memory is gone from uh, you kicking the, the bathroom door and, and hitting me in the skull as I was bent down. I am Wait! Sorry. If you have those memory uh, 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 fucking, you know, di divots. I was upset. There was a lot yeah. going on, okay. and I was in, on an ambient. Like, why, why, why are you obsessing over the fact that I can't remember it the way you remembered it? I said I was sorry. Okay. I didn't deny I it. That. I'm not talking about that. What I want. <clears throat> no, it's, it's, it, it's not to get you mad, it's not to get, it's just to, be, to get out of a bad situation while it's happening before it gets worse. In Australia, when we had the big fight where I lost the tip of my finger, at least five bathrooms and two bedrooms I went to. Two, two, 
to avoid talking to me. To, to escape, the, to the, escape the fight. You don't escape the fight. You escape the solution. No. You escape the solution. No. You s escape figuring it out. We cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time. Listen to me. Listen to me. A boxer can't go 12 rounds without a fucking minute break. I'm not not giving you a minute break. You do it at minute three at the beginning of an argument. No. There are rounds, man. And when it gets too fucking hairy, the rest splits them apart or whatever. But I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is you, 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 you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. I fucking go to the, into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Bam, 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 here you come. I come out. Fight, 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 crazy, escalated. I go, I split again, I go to another fucking bathroom or a bedroom or something. Knock, 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 bang, bang, bang. You kept coming to get me. I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and so diff that's, that's different. That's different. That's what one does not <laughs> negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pens does not mean that you Vases. come and knock on the door. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Vases just let you throw. I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making oh, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door. No, Based I'm on whether I throw positive hands, it's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you, you, you <clears throat> seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no. talk about everything you do wrong. And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I didn't punch you, by no. the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, no, uh, no. hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. But you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah. No, I when you fucking have a close You didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, you Johnny. Did you start a physical fight? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. I wouldn't be surprised if Johnny Depp doesn't win this case. I wouldn't be surprised one bit. Because, guys, you have to realize something. I've been saying this over and over and over again. He who have ears, let them hear. If you don't hear, well, you get what you get. Like, there's a proverb in Africa that the ear that doesn't listen will accompany the head when it's cut off. Men, you're in, especially men in the Western world, right? In the Western society, they venerate the mother goddess here. You're living in a society where they venerate the mother goddess. This is the, 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 the season the era for mother goddess worship. So every woman in the West is seen like, like an archetype, like a symbol of the mother goddess. So that's why you pay tribute money to the woman, which is quote unquote child support, which is just tribute money to the mother goddess. It doesn't matter what you do wrong, what you do right. It's they're going to give her the judgment. I wouldn't be surprised if they give her the judgment. Guys, stay away from the women like this. They, they'll tell you the, the few times you've been with them you they'll let you know who they are unless you're ignoring the signs because you're trying to get laid but if you really look closely they are going to show you who they are and when someone tells you who they are the first time believe them walk away from situations like this don't end up like johnny depp get your finger cut off listen dating in the western world is like walking in a minefield with your eyes closed it's not worth it most of the time I'm not saying there are no good women out there. You can find a woman, a good woman, every once in a while. But it's like, you can find needles in haystacks. But, you know, it is what it is. It's very rare and far in between. Is it worth it? I don't think it is. Have your fun. Move on.
99.5% of these women out here in the Western world are not wifeable and not even dateable. <laughs> Listen.